We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at this. It's the uh, from Stratum uh, OLC out of Russia and it is the Aerodynamic. Now I purchased this one from uh, Rob at steamisland.com in the UK uh, but yes obviously you can go along to the Facebook group, uh, there are other stores and whatnot but uh, yes I bought mine from Rob. Now there are several different versions of this mod, different finishes and um, I'll try and show you as many as I can as we're going along. They all come in at different price points and so on. Uh, I think this one that I have here was 500. Uh, I think Rob's got another version as well. It's 550. He may be sold out. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you as much as I can as we go along. But uh, right now, we'll do some close-ups. Actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to pinch this bit. This is from uh, the actual Stratum OLC, the official group. Uh, so the, the aerodynamic uh, die codes BF60 uh, and uh, there's also a DNA61 as well. Uh, but uh, yes, all the spec is there, but you can see the, the different versions. There's, there's six different versions there. And uh, there's also the, the individual range as well. This one here is, I'm pretty sure this is the Lux, and that's a, a, that's a polished aluminium body. There's one from the, the individual range. Yep, there's another one from the individual range. And I'm pulling another sneaky here. I've just nipped into the group again. And uh, there's so many different finishes, but uh, this one is, oh, this one isn't playing ball for some reason. Uh, but yeah, there is, there are many different finishes and um, there's many different finishes that um, I actually like a lot more than what I've got here. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cover that as we go along. So my mod arrived in yep, a HANA case here. So you've got a neck strap here, belt buckle on the back. It's a rigid case, everything's well protected and a badge on the front for Stratum Aerodynamic. Uh, open this up and uh, this is how it arrived with me and mod came in a little plastic bag. Now this thing is only, it is tiny. Uh, this is about 77 millimeters in height. Uh, and once again, yes, it is small. I'll tell you what, I'll get a battery. And you can see here that, uh, yes, very, very small. Up the top we have uh, the, the actual disc here, if you like, the 510 plate up the top. Uh, it's 22 millimeters in diameter, uh, but you probably could take a, put a 24 on here as well, I would imagine. Uh, now this 510 plate up the top here is actually very, very clever. It's very pretty also. Uh, better if I show you this way so you can read what's going on there. But uh, we have all the information you need so it gives me my you know it's the aerodynamic and it actually gives you the version that I have it tells you how many were made of this style uh, it tells you the model number here uh, and what else have we got going on here yet yeah, name of the board and it does this funky thing uh, now the 510 in there is spring loaded but obviously you can see here that this 510 plate sits at a certain height now if you want to turn your tank around, if you want the air hole to be, you know, going in a certain direction, for example, you can move this right round. So you can raise the 510, not the, the 510 pin as such, but the actual 510 deck almost. So your atty is going to change position. Um, you've got like, I think it's a, is it 20? There's a 20 position, you know, it actually clicks. Not sure if you can hear that, but it's going around there, and you can see that it almost lines up. You know how you like you see in your Breitling watches, you know, almost like that kind of thing. You know how you've got the everything lining up. Well, you've got the same thing going on in here. It's really clever. I really like it, and um, yes, uh, normally I, um, I end up breaking things, and uh, we'll pop this off so that you can have a look because it's very well done. Look at this. How, how, I mean, that's a clever 510 that. You've got your ball bearing there. It's done really, really well. So I'll just pop that on and put it on here. But it's, it's reverse threaded this here. I will say, you know, if you're going to put anything on here that's over 22 millimeters in diameter, you want to make sure that you get this raised up. 
or you would end up scratching, well, you may have a hard job scratching this, but you might possibly scratch this top surface round here. The body on this is, is made from uh, aluminium. It's aluminium 95, which is used in the aerospace industry. And it is, it's quite a, it's quite a, it's a light mod, but it's still got a good weight to it. I mean, there's no battery or anything in here just now. And uh, what's that, 110 grams? I mean, that's, once again, that's an, an al aluminium body. On the base, we've got our, uh, I just undo this, we've got our battery cap. Uh, nothing exciting going on here, but it, it's quite big threads, so it does make it a lot easier to catch. Um, put the battery in positive up, as always. Um, yes, it's, uh, there's no indicator on here at all, which is, once again, I think it's just something crazy that people don't do this. It would be such an easy thing to do, uh, but yeah, battery goes positive up. We have our up and down buttons on the bottom here, and here is our firing button, and also our display screen. So this this is quite a, a crazy little mod. This, but if I just push here, you see it's coming up with the check atomizer. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to show up on the screen here, but uh, even in daylight, I find this very easy to see on the die code 60. This is the one thing I find amazing about this mod. Um, any mod I've seen before where the, the button has been part of the screen or along those lines, you know, it tends to be that the higher up here that you push it, the better it works. But this whole section here just seems to be like one huge button and it's done extremely well. Now the way the mod actually looks, and uh, because we'll talk more about the button at the end, you can see that, you know, if I put it down there flat, see how it's kind of oh, sitting off to the side like that. It's it's a very, very funky looking mod. I'm not going to lie, um, I absolutely hate the finishing on it. I really do. I am not a fan of this at all. Uh, it just reminds me of something that's been done, uh, I've done myself on a Sunday afternoon when I've been working with Hobbycraft paint. Uh, it's just, I'm not taken away from the fact that this mod is screwed together really, really well and it does feel and when you look at the parts in here and so on and the design and the button it, yeah it's a well made mod but just for me personally the the paint finish on the, the aluminium here just doesn't work for me that is personal taste but please don't forget that that's personal taste i mean the look and everything else on the mod is superb but I just, I can't get past this finish on the paint. I really can't. Now, as far as how it looks with actual tanks on it, I'm going to throw on a HAR here just now, which is a 22mm RTA. And excuse the fact that I've, I've been mixing and matching parts here, but that gives you a rough idea. There's a 22mm RTA on there. There's another 22mm RTA. This is the, the Artemis uh, by Cthulhu that I'm testing just now. I've screwed the, the deck right up, so making sure that it's flush up the top here. And this is the Dwarf uh, DLFL. This is a 24mm atomizer here. And that's what that looks like. Uh, that's obviously got the steam tuners cap on it just now. But you get an idea of the size of the mod when you see something like the, the 24mm Dwarf on here. The mod is really, really small. As always with the die codes, you know, just bring the screen up like that. I can just push the button and I can take myself through the menu system and uh, you know if you want to change the watch just leave it for a second it'll highlight and then you can use the up and down button as you see fit and then just push the fire button again and I'm good to go but I think we shall leave it at that and uh, we'll talk about this more up top but actually I'll tell you what we'll take this off I'll just give you one quick run back around the mod and just show you that 510 because it is really, really nice. Uh, buttons down the bottom, black stainless steel tube, and um, fire button all up here. That's it for the, the Stratum Aerodynamic. Now, as I said in the close-ups, um, I bought this from Rob at Steam Island. Uh, my reason for buying it was that I had seen people like Rob Fisher there, Hi Rob, um, that posting up photos of the mod, uh, I'd seen it in the group and and I wasn't a fan of the way it looked. 
I didn't like the paint finish on it or anything like that, just didn't like it. But people kept going on about it and saying how good it was. So I, I contacted Rob and Rob just did a little video for me and I went, right, just I'll buy it, send it on and um, and I'll see how I get on with it because then at least I've tried it. Uh, so it arrived and I took it out of the box and the, the bag and so on and uh, instantly hated it. I <laughs> just hated this mod. Not the mod. Yeah, no, sorry, that's a lie. At the start, I did dislike the mod a great deal. As time has gone by, I have not changed my opinion on the, the finish. I know there are lots of other finishes available, and yes, some of those other finishes do appeal to me. Um, but for me personally, and this is a taste thing, this is, once again, this is a taste thing, this, it's almost like a hobby craft silver paint finish. That is my biggest con for this mod, for the one I have here. As far as the mod goes itself, the, the shape of it, um, the firing button, uh, uh, the finishing, everything on it, uh, two thumbs up. I really do like using this mod. I think the firing button is very, very clever in the way that given what we've seen in the past where everything is still like almost like hinged on the bottom and you know you have to push the button up the top I've seen that before but the way this works it's like the the whole screen here is just one big massive button so you can vape it like that I can just squeeze it no problem uh, or I can thumb fire it uh, finger fire it it just works any way you want uh, and so 10 out of 10 for the firing button on this thing. Uh, it's there, There's not a, a blemish on this. It's absolutely mint. And the actual 510 plate up the top and the way that mechanism works, once again, big tick. I think it's really, really clever. And I do like that a lot also. These are not cheap. Uh, once, as always, I don't really get into pricing about things because it's all about how deep your pocket is. You know, for me, maybe I could afford this, maybe you can't. To other people, they look at this and go, it's just peanuts. Um, everybody's different, so I just leave pricing out of it. But certainly this one cost £500 in the UK from Steam Island. 22mm uh, RTA on the top. Once again, you can go, I've got had a 24, you saw that. Uh, just make sure you raise the deck right up so that you're not damaging you know, the actual top here. But we'll have a quick vape. And that's that. Um, that's nice. Uh, yeah, th that's all I've got for you on this one in the aerodynamic. Once again, there are many different finishes uh, available. Uh, some of them you'll see in the shops, some of them you will only see in the Facebook group. Uh, I don't think there's any restrictions in the Facebook group. Anybody can go along and join it and you will get more information there. Uh, but you can buy these. It's not like they're hidden or anything like that. And I think that's it. Uh, sorry if... Actually, I'm not sorry because it's, it's my opinion and my taste in that, yes, I bought this mod to see what all the fuss was about. And I see what the fuss is about with the design of the mod and the way it works and the screen and the 510 and I get it. I totally get it and understand it. But... Um, the whole me not liking the, 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 the finish on this mod is purely my taste. I know that I've posted many photos of this online and Instagram and whatnot, and people absolutely love it. Uh, but we're all different, so I should have just held off and, and maybe bought a different one. But there you go, you live and learn. Uh, thank you to Rob at Steam Island. Also, thank you to Andre uh, for giving me more information on the mod as well. And to you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.